Deep Blue just came out with a new diver. And this is the one I chose out of like, I think, eight variations. This is the Deep Blue Master 1000. Skelly. Got that skeleton dial. So, below entry level Tommy stays inexpensive. And this one is very inexpensive. So, for the non PVD coated, just regular old stainless steel, $99 was the price they dropped this at. And then uh, this one, being PVD coated, was $129. And then it came on a strap, which I have right here because I just removed it. Came on a black silicone strap with black hardware. It came on the strap. I had to upgrade to a bracelet, of course, you know me. It is a deep blue bracelet. But I paid an extra $59 to get the bracelet. And it's super engineer style, so it looks super good. And uh, so altogether, less than $200 for a Seiko Automatic Deep Blue Precision Diver. And my favorite case size, which is 44 millimeters. So let's go over the specs and you guys let me know what you think. I know the skeleton dial isn't amazing, but it does it for me. The color scheme, the matte black, high gloss on the case sides, the gold bezel insert, it all just works for me perfectly. I love the look of the watch. We have brush on the top of the lugs and then the completely brushed bracelet. All PVD coated in black, matte black dial with the cutout showing the gold NH71 uh, movement. And then it does have an exhibition case back showing the gold rotor in the back as well with the deep blue logo on it. You got that deep blue logo, you got 24 jewels, NH71, TMI. So, We'll go over all the bang for the buck for this watch. So first of all, ceramic gold bezel insert. Love that. And then you get that uh, automatic Seiko 24 joule, 21,600 beats per hour, NH71. Um, it's finished in gold back and front. You got a gold handset. All the indices are full of loom surrounded in gold and then everything else is black and the blue second hand just jumps out at you and you see it right away the deep blue logo at the three o'clock you got the helium release valve at the 10 o'clock which is screwed down and you got the screw down signed crown at the three o'clock which measures in at eight millimeters and then we're at 44 millimeter case diameter 15 mil thick, 52 lug to lug, 22 millimeter lug width, and then we have 330 meters or 1,000 feet water resistance, hence the name, the Deep Blue Master 1000. Sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating, and the price, it's a no-brainer. Super happy I got this watch. Gonna look forward to wearing it and enjoying it. It is brand new right now. I just opened it up on my main channel, Tommy Big Time. Took the strap off, didn't even put the strap on my wrist. Took it off the watch, put on the bracelet, sized it, and then here we are talking about it. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's gorgeous. We're gonna do some loom shots real quick. And then we'll wrap the video up. I don't want to keep you guys too long, but I had to introduce you to another deep blue in my collection. I'm not even sure how many of my deep blues, if any, I've shared on this channel. BGW9 Superluminova. You got it on the hour, minute, and second hand, as well as all 12 indices. It looks super good. Nice and bright. And remember, the watch itself, $129. The non-PVD coded, $99. It's a steal. I don't think you can do much better than that. So, 
I'm going to wrap up the video. Thank you all for watching. If you haven't smashed that subscribe button, please do. And uh, let's get this channel growing. I'm putting in the work. I need the support, fellas. Much love. We'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.